good morning day 16 <laughs> God. we're all doing it aren't we all us vlog misses is us we're all like that every day what day is it what day it is 16 isn't it i don't have a watch that has the date on it so i'm now i'm panicking i'll go through what if i open the wrong day oh do i need to stop my video now and go and check <laughs> guys ask alexa what the date is ask alexa what the date is 16th thank you love you bye 16th can you imagine if i started just opening randomly like the wrong things from my calendar anyway i've got on my high cuff sweater today i've just finished watching andrea from beyond the pink doors vlogmas from last night and she's just made one up and it looked gorgeous on her and i thought you know what stop leaving it hung on it <laughs> On a coat hanger over there. I don't know if you've noticed. It's been just hanging about for a while. Get it worn. So I've got it on today with my jeans instead of my joggers. And actually, yeah, I quite, I think I quite like it. I don't know if the, the reason I want to show is because of the contrast band. Whereas with Andrew, she had a dark background. So the black band didn't stand out as much. I don't know whether that's what it is. So maybe I'll give it a go with like a darker background or like a matching rib and see what that feels like. Because I do remember the first time I saw this pattern, I think was when I saw it on Adele from Sofa Serenity's YouTube channel. And I think she'd got it in a pack, you know, like in a subscription box or something. And hers was, I think, oh God, how many times can I say I think? Navy blue with little flowers on it. And then she had the navy blue ribbon, I think. I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm wearing it today because I'm on a half day. I only work half a day on Friday check me out so I thought I'm gonna wear this into the office today just with my boots my jeans and this and potentially a cardigan um so last night well all afternoon and evening I spent with my granddad which was lovely he's doing really well thank you for everybody that's asked he's doing a lot better um he's a lot stronger now he's still using a walking frame but um yeah he's he obviously I've not seen him for nine days or so so the difference in him was really significant because I'm used to seeing him every day. So you kind of don't see the progress, do you? But yeah, it was nice. He's been kind of living in pyjamas and dressing gowns for a while while he's been recovering. But he was fully dressed in his nice, he's got a little vest on. Then he'd got a, like a flannel check shirt on and then like a beautiful grey vest, you know, like um, waistcoat jumper thing. What do you call them? them? Um, and he looked really smart and lovely. And we had a lovely time. He's completely deaf, so I spend the whole time shouting at him, <laughs> which is interesting when you go to a restaurant or a cafe. Um, but yeah, we had, I tidied everything up, got everything sorted, and then we sat and watched Elf. And this is an impression of my granddad watching Elf, because he's got, because he's hard of hearing, he has headphones as well, like Bose headphones, because they're really good. So he sits with them on, and this was him watching Elf. I'm not even going to lie, even at the really funny bits. I kept looking over at him like that because I was belly laughing. I've seen it about a thousand times. That's not even an exaggeration, people. And every time I looked over, he was like that. Anyway, when he took the headphones off, he went, oh, I did enjoy that, Rowan. <laughs> hey. Uh, my mum was a bit late, bless them, because the, um, their flight was a little bit late and then the motorway was short. And oh, you know what it's like when you're just trying to get back home and it was freezing they've come from beautiful temperatures to freezing cold bless them so we my granddad didn't even have his mince pie i bought mince pie and cream he didn't even have it i mean i had one i should probably will have seen i had one but yeah he didn't have one he said it was full because i'd filled him up with shepherd's pie lord's veg <laughs> anywho i've gone on for four minutes ridiculous so i'm going to go to work I don't know, I'm taking the kids to school first. I'm going to work. Then I'm going to come back and I'm going to do my lunchtime tutorial. So get ready. What I'm going to do right now, though, is the calendars. Let's do this. It's Oliver's Christmas party day today, so he's dressed in a Christmas <laughs> top. I'm very excited about school. Right, I'm very excited. Do you know why? It's their last day and I don't have to even think about washing up their lunch boxes or doing their uniform and stuff like that. <laughs> Beth mother, I know. So yeah, beyond the pink door today. So Alexa said number 16. Well, actually, Jack shouted. It's 16, Mum. All right, Jack. Whatever. Right, here we go. Oh, such a cute sticker. Look at this little sticker. 
I have got my ring light on, by the way, because it's so dark outside and cold and frosty and just really horrible. Look at that. It's got like a little snow scene with a little house and snowmen. Cute. Oh, I don't know what that is. First I thought needles, like hand sewing needles, but I don't think it is. Shall we see? No, it is. <laughs> these are really good, actually. I think I've had some of these. I think maybe from Andrea before in the Think Pink box, and they are very good. They're called Pony Black. Um, so they've got like a white bit on the end and then a black bit, but they are super sharp, so they're spot on. I'll put them in my stash. Thank you very much, Andrea. Let's have a look at first for fabrics. Oh, I'm going to miss this. I'm going to miss this. So we're counting down the days now, aren't we, people? Right, this feels like one of them kits again. You know them, what are the, what's the brand name? Is it Timix or something like that? Let's have a look. Oh, oh my God, I love it. <laughs> oh, look at that one. It's a hot chocolate Christmas decoration. I love that. So it's got like a holly leaf on it and then it's got a candy cane and this is like your whipped cream and your marshmallows. That is lovely. It's funny because I dug my other two out. I've got a Christmas pudding, a nutcracker and now this one. And I dug them out yesterday and put them to one side and I'm going to try and make them before Christmas ends so that I can get them on my tree. Otherwise, they're just going to sit in my stash and I'm not going to want to do until next year, am I? So yeah, I'm going to do that. <laughs> Honestly, I am. Right, that's me done. Um, yeah, I'm going to do my lunchtime tutorial today. I've got some other jobs on my list that I need to do, just housey type stuff. And obviously I've got my black thread now, so I do want to... I'm looking over there because Zadie's over there. She's over there a lot. That's why I'm looking over there. I want to obviously do my tutorial, but I also want to crack on with my Zadie. And I'm going to let myself finish my Zadie before I hem my mum's jumper and I think that will spur me on because obviously Christmas is next week people so I need to get that done so I'm thinking if I crack on so my plan today is that I will attach the legs then I'll attach them to the body and that's my only thing that I'm kind of setting myself for today on that and then I can hopefully do the binding and everything and hem it over the weekend and have it done what do we think anyway I'm gonna go off to work and I'll catch up with you guys later bye Right, I'm back from work. It's freezing, I've still got my coat on, but I've put the heating on, so all will be well. So I'm just gonna make myself some lunch and then I'm gonna go upstairs and prepare for the lunchtime tutorial. But I just want to quickly show you this before I have my lunch as well. So I was kind of talking a while ago about the fact that I've got a jute kit and the bobbins for it, and people gave me loads of advice. In fact, some of you guys were like, just use any old plastic ones, not a problem. And other people were like, don't ever do that, only use jukey ones. So I was like, oh, I don't know what to do. And then this lovely lady called Linda, who um, watches my vlogs, reached out to me and kind of said, look, I have lots of old bobbins that I used to use on my jukey. I now have a faff. They just kind of sat here because they don't fit my faff. I'm more than happy to send them to you so they don't kind of go to waste if you like. And I was like, oh, that's so nice. So guess what's turned up today? Look at this card. Is that not the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? So it's a handmade card. And look, there's like ribbon on it, a little bobbin. And oh, honestly, it's absolutely beautiful i'm going to keep that in my sewing room because that needs to not ever get chucked away and then i have a big bag of bobbins that fit the juke kid because obviously she's been using these so that's even better so i've got loads of them here which is fantastic and then this most adorable look at that sewing machine decoration that's made out of lace guys Trying to let me show you it there in front of my face. Hello. How beautiful is that? Again, I'm not sure I can put that on my Christmas tree. I think that needs to be up in my sewing room. So, Linda, if you're watching this, thank you so much. It's really, really kind of you to send those things to me. I really do appreciate it. And I'm going to start using all those bobbins now. So, I'm, I'm not having anything fancy for my lunch. I'm having some noodles. Now, I don't know about you. I don't have these like normal people have them. I make them into a soup, like a noodle soup. So I just put extra water in. Oh, 
delicious. So I'm going to have these now, then I'm going to pop upstairs and hopefully get everything sorted for the tutorial for the heat bag thingy jiggy me bob. Hello, so are we ready for our lunchtime tutorial? Tell me you're not singing that along with me right now. I bet you are, I bet you are. So we're here now to make our microwave heat pad thingamajiggy me bob, technical term. Um, so let's do this. Let's see how quick we can get this done. We'll do it in real time. I've cut my fabric out already, just so you don't need to watch me cutting out fabric. But there's a few things you need. So you need some fabric and your fabric needs to be 100% cotton. Not like me talking about metallic threads and stuff in cotton that will blow the place up. No, we don't need that. We need 100% cotton fabric, which mine is. I'm using my gonk fabric that I bought yesterday in Osset Town Centre because I love it. Um, so I've got 100% cotton fabric. I've got 100% cotton thread in my machine again, which is really important. You don't want anything with polyester or anything like that in it because it's got to go and get zapped in the microwave. I've got a bag of rice. Here's my famous bag of rice, keep going on about. And then anything else that you need is basically a ruler and a marking pencil and your machine and some you know, thread and that's it. So shall we see how quickly we can get this done? Let's do it in real time and see how quickly it goes. So the measurements you need for your piece of fabric, and again, you can make these any measurements really, it's up to you. You might want to do a small little heat pack or a large one, totally up to you. But the one I'm doing is 27 inches long by 14 inches wide. And don't forget, it's going to end up being half the depth because it's going to kind of wrap around your shoulders. Now, I've been looking at loads of different ones on Pinterest. So this is kind of amalgamation. This is kind of what I thought is best. And I'm just going to go with it. Just going to wing it. Do you want to wing it with me? Let's do it. So the first thing we do is um, fold our fabric right sides together and just quickly pin it. But we're only going to pin two of the sides. So we're going to pin one short side and the long side. So I'll show you what I mean, because we're going to keep one of the short sides open so that we can fill it with rice. Because if we didn't and we sewed it up, that would be ridiculous. Got weird pokey out hair at the back. I only ever notice things like that after I'm, when I'm editing. So all I've done is I've just pinned this edge here and the long edge here and I'm going to keep this edge open so that we can wang that right in. So let's do this real time. Sing to yourself while I'm sewing this. Now I'm going to sew it with a half inch seam allowance but again it's trial and error really isn't it? So let's just let's just see how it works out. Let's just see. Let's go. Don't go on my fingers. I do that sometimes in private though, because <laughs> I'm naughty. But let's back on and get the center. I'm just doing it very rough and ready. I know I say that a lot when I'm doing a tutorial, but it's true. This is all about very quick, simple makes for Christmas or any gift type of thing. Or if you're panicking, like a lot of people will be doing right now, because Christmas is at the end of next week. It's a bit of an opportunity to quickly pull something together with stuff you've got in your cupboard and fabric you might have in your stash. So, I'm nearly there. Am I doing my concentration face? <laughs> Probably. Right, let's get that. Okay. So, sewn across there and up there and again it doesn't need to be fancy it doesn't really matter if you've got a thread hanging off here and that's not the end of the world and then what we're going to do is we're going to reach in ta -da, like a puppet and then just turn it round and there you've got your your basic bit really and let's just poke out the edges and you might want to spend a bit more time on this. I'm only doing it really quickly so that you guys can see how quickly it can be done if you did want to do it and you were very short on time. But you might want to take a bit more time and work out different measurements and things like that and cut the corners out so that they don't, you know, so that they're nice and neat and tidy. But I'm, I'm, not, I'm just going for it, you know? Right, I'm going to just quickly give this a little press. So just bear with me one second, I'll be back. Right, I've ironed it. I've just given it a quick press. My iron is making really weird noises, so you might be able to hear that in the background. So now we've got our 
piece of fabric with this end open. So then what we're going to do is we're going to mark four equal sections. So let me work this out. So it's 27 inches long. We're doing half an inch seam allowance on both sides, which makes it 26. And then we need four of them. So we need six and a half inches per section. So you can use any marking tool you want. You know, it doesn't really matter. Completely up to you. So I'm just going to mark this at six and a half and then draw a line on. I'm a bit cramped in my room, so, you know, I am here though. So you probably won't be able to see this very easily, but I'm just drawing a mark along six and a half inches each time. I should really do this other way, shouldn't I? That'd be much easier, no I? So six and a half is there. I've got my rice cup there. Move out my way, rice cup. Six and a half is there. We'll draw on here. Because that's two. And then six and a half again is there. And then obviously we don't need to draw the last one because that's going to be sewn up. So have I got my calculations right? Six and a half. Oh, I have. Woohoo! Check me out. Okay, so let's put that. This is a quilting ruler. Oh my goodness, they're amazing. I think I want to get a smaller one now though, just for quick and easy things, because that can get in the way sometimes. So I don't know if you'll be able to see this, probably not, but I have divided mine, can you see a little chalk line? Maybe not, into four sections by drawing three lines, six and a half inches along. Right, now for the fun part. So we've got our bag of rice. The other thing you can do as well, which I've read on quite a few of them, is you can drop some essential oils into this. So maybe some like lavender drops or something like that, any type of scent that you really like. And then it, when it goes in the microwave, it creates a really nice scent as well, which I thought was cool. Now, I suppose it depends how heavy you want this to be, but the recommendations were kind of between one and one and a half cups. I've got this, my Joseph Joseph one, that's one cup there, look. So I'm going in, or oh, maybe I'm not going in, I'm, I'm going to just pour it in like this. I'm going to have rice all over. I'm already laughing at how much rice I'm going to have in here. It's going to be dangerous, isn't it? Yeah, it's already all over. So we're going to pour that in. <laughs> I'm a bit scared. <laughs> That's one. Oh, and there we go. And it's gone into the bottom lot. I'm just going to put... Oh, sorry, itchy nose. I want to have an itchy nose. I'm going to pour another half in. So let's be a devil, shall we? Let's wang another half in. So we get to the end and I won't have enough rice now. And we're going to pour that in to here. Right, so that's in. Woohoo! Exciting. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pin along the first line I've drawn. I'm sorry, you can't really see that. Can you see that little white line there? We're going to pin along there, keep it nice and flat. Pin that just to guide you a little bit and make sure there's no rice in the way. But gravity should work it out for you, hopefully. And then let's so along there so I'm going to try and almost hang the rice off the end of the machine because it is quite heavy so let's give this a go and see it's making it all wonky let's have a go I think this would be a lovely present for somebody though don't you I would love it if someone gave me this present that's what I always think I'd be very happy if someone gave me something like this as we get older, we have all sorts of moans and groans with our bodies, don't we? We have to finally accept that we're getting older and we can't wrap all our presents on the floor without having a bad back. It's just how it is these days. Right, so don't forget to backstitch, obviously, at the beginning and the end of each section. Right, so let's have a look. So we have that bottom bit, can you see there? And I've drawn... I've sewn a line across there. So, I'm assuming we just do the same thing again, guys. Let's do this. So that's one cup. Oh, I actually think I'm gonna run out of rice. <laughs> Maybe I'll just put one cup in the middle ones. <laughs> so let's pour that in. It's quite exciting that the kids would like making one of these as well, you know. So let's pour that in. I'm just actually putting the whole cup in because I'm so scared it's going to fall all over the place while you guys are watching me. 
Yep, there's some gone already. Right, so hopefully that line that I have stitched won't allow, yep, won't allow the rice to go any further. So can you see there's like a little, little bulge there, a little bulge of rice there. So then we're going to do the same thing. Just kind of let it gravity do its thing. Pop some pins through. Just like that. And so that one. This one should be easy because it should hang off the side of the sewing machine. Yeah. But like I say, it is a little bit heavy. So you may just need to lift it up with your other hand a little bit. And then just whiz this through again. Making sure not to try and catch any rice in it. Oh, yes, yeah, there's a cheeky little grain of rice there. What do you think you're doing, mister? All right. So that's that one done. If you can see now, a lot, it's starting to take shape. But there's a little bit less in this one. But you can probably work out how much you've got and then divide it up equally. It's only because I'm, I'm winging it. Right, another cup of rice. There we go. And we line the dots, spill all of that. Goodness gracious me. And then we're going to put this one in. I mean, this seems a bit too simple, doesn't it? Or is it just me? <laughs> there we go. Doosh, doosh, doosh. I'll be testing this one out tonight on myself, I'll tell you. Because um, my friend used to have one of these and she used to have it at work. And when we had a bad batch, she always used to pop it in the microwave for us, because she looking after us. Michelle, that's you if you're watching. And then she'd pop it on his back and it always did us the world of good. So, this is our third and last kind of line, but not our last section. And again, you don't, obviously none of this needs to be fancy pants. It can just be really rough. No one's going to be checking that your measurements are 100% right. I mean, you might want to divide it up as well into more than four. But I think four sits well round your neck and back um, if you're using it for that. But if you wanted to use it for a different area of your body, each to their own, you know. Right, so that's my third section. So there you might be able to see that each section's got some in. Mm -hmm. So now I'm just going to do my last one. So I've got, oh, I've got plenty. I've got plenty. I probably could have done a one and a half in each one, but anyway. Let's pop this in the top one. Oh, I'm worried it's all going to start falling out. I'm going to put a bit more in so that the two on the end have a bit more in to weight it down a bit. There we go. Pop that in. Just waiting for a disaster to happen right so that's in as well now and then what we're going to do is we're just going to fold this top end over by half an inch or whatever you want it to be and you can press this if you want i'm not gonna because i'm a rebel just fold it in by half an inch roughly she says it won't do it for me now it's like no one we're doing a tutorial it's like when you have kids and you know they've done a dance and a song for you like every day for six weeks and then you ask them to do it for somebody else and they're like that no <laughs> that's what this is doing to me now so i'm just folding this over on both edges to create and again you can probably press this and make it all look pretty all that jazz but i'm just quickly pinning it so i can show you guys it's quite hard because obviously there's a bit of weight to it as well but let's fold that over like so and then all we're going to do Literally all we're going to do is stitch along the top just to close it up. Got a few little loose threads there, but I'll cut them off afterwards. So all I've done is tucked those little edges in. And I'm just going to sew along the top. There is a lot of rice on my <laughs> sewing table. Can you see it all here? Look, there's a lot of rice on my sewing table. But you want to make sure that you do do this quite close to the edge because you don't want your rice popping out the edges. You know what I'm saying, don't you? So... Let's give this a go. I mean, I only had one cotton thread in the whole of my <laughs> cotton thread uh, threads. So 
I had a red one. So when I saw this gold fabric, I was like, that has to be mine because actually the red will go with it. All the other cottons that I was looking at, there was no red in it and it would have looked a little bit random. But I was kind of thinking, do you know what? If it was just for me, it wouldn't matter anyway. So oh, it was a bit of cheeky rice again, trying to get in there. And what the other thing that you can do is also like top stitch all the way round if you wanted to, just to make it look a little bit more fancy. Right, so let me just clip this off. Oh, I've got a few strands, but I'll sort them out later. You know what I mean? But this is just to kind of show you. And this, ha ha, is finished. How good is that? So let me move you around this way a little bit. Hello. You'd pop this in the microwave. Now, it depends on your microwave because obviously there's different wattage is as well. So you'd probably just have to try it. But it's normally between one and two minutes. You pop it in the microwave. It gets all warm. And then you just... Oh, yes. Pop it around your shoulders and your neck. And it's all lovely and warm. And it helps with all those aches and pains. What do we think? I love it. I'm going to make some more without a doubt. I think what I'm going to do during this, I say this all the time, what I'm going to do through the years, I'm just going to make something out of my fat quarters every single month. Because you could use fat quarters for this. You could just um, add them all together. And so Because I don't think a fat quarter would be wide enough. But you could just add a couple of them together and, and do it. Especially if it's just for yourself. doesn't matter. But how nice would that be as a little gift? And then what you could do is if it was for a gift is you could fold it into four. Like that. Then put a really pretty ribbon and bow round it so that it looks like a really nice little gift for somebody. What do we think? I hope you guys liked it anyway. But, I mean, I've been recording for 12 minutes. I've waffled for quite a lot of that. I know I did have my fabric cut out prior to this, but it doesn't take long to cut out a rectangle. So how quickly has that been thrown together? 10 minutes, I reckon. Oosh. Go to it, people. Go to it. Right, it is evening time. I had a list of loads of stuff to get done and I don't think I really got much done. My mum popped round to come and pick the kids up with me, so that was nice because the kids haven't seen her for ages. Then we had a cup of tea and just chilled out a bit, so it was lovely. And then husband has come home early because he um, looks rotten, is all I'm going to say. He looks really done and he's full of cold. So he came home about half an hour early and he's feeling sorry for himself, bless him. So we're just going to have a really relaxing night tonight. We've put pizzas in the oven and then we're going to watch Home Alone 2 and we're just going to snuggle down, all get in our PJs and do nothing. So I won't be doing any sewing. I was hoping to do a bit of my Zadie, but you know what? I'm not feeling in the mood and if you're not feeling in the mood, you shouldn't sew because then it all goes wrong. So I'm going to sign off for today and hopefully I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.